about 15 years ago when I was in my, I think it was in my late 20s. I'm, again, I I'm apologize for the, uh, you know, lack of uh, <laughs> exact detail there. But uh, I, I remember being in my late 20s. There's something that happened to me that it was just something that you go, what's the purpose in this? And I realized what God was using in it all. And I had this manager who looked after me. Now, she was a, a lady who uh, looked after a lot of artists, a lot of bands, a lot of speakers, and uh, I signed with her. She wanted to sign a three-year deal. I said, no, I just want to do one year. We didn't even hardly make six months. She was, um, you know, we, would, you, would you use the term dodgy or shady? <laughs> she ripped a lot of people off. I won't go into that. And I realized that we were on a different page. You know, even though I, you know, I told you I was a little lukewarm, even then I really... I, knew that, no, she's going down a different path to me. I have to break away. I want to kind of go God's way as opposed to that way. And so we had to break the contract, but she still owed me a fair bit of money. Now, the, the sum total of what she owed me was eight and a half thousand dollars. Now, there's not one gig, by the way. It'd be all right. But no, it was like a multiple gigs. It was uh, radio commercials. And, you know, it's a lot of money, even back in my late 20s back then. And so I remember um, thinking, look, I hope she pays. I was getting a little nervous about that. And I invoiced her. I sent her uh, emails, uh, calls. She didn't respond, texts, faxes. Yes, that's how long ago it was. <laughs> remember faxes? Pigeon carriers, smoke signals, whatever communication. I would go around, knock on her door. I'd try to get her to, you know, cough up and pay. I just need to be paid what I'm rightfully owed. And it was taking months and months and I was getting a little anxious. And so actually, um, there was a lawyer who went to my church at the time. And I said, could you help me out? I just want to write this lady a letter on a legal letter and she'll pay straight away. <laughs> How naive was I? Thinking she'll just pay and that'll be fine. It'll be all good. Well, this process, I mean, I won't go through the whole thing, but it, it went on for over a, just a little over a year. And I still didn't get paid. And we got to the point where it was like we can either go to court and waste thousands of dollars or we can just cut our losses. And he said, this is probably as far as we'll be able to go. We've done everything we can. And I said, well, Lord, I've prayed about this. And, you know, I guess we'll just have to, you know, call it a day and just move on. And I thought, and he said, yeah, well, that'll be fine. And he'll send me his um, bill or his invoice in the mail. And at the time I'm thinking, because he actually said, I'll give you half price. And I thought, well, that's good. I didn't expect that, but I appreciate that. That's nice because I know how much they can be. And I was expecting his uh, invoice in the mail, thinking, it's not going to be that bad, right? I was a little naive, you see. And I get this letter in the mail. And I went, oh, there it is. That's his letterhead. It was quite thick. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I remember reading it. And then I was like, oh, I better sit down. You know, it's a serious letter when you have to sit down and read this letter. And I'm reading this letter. And it was an invoice, and there's page after page, and I'm reading it. And e have you ever had a legal letter from a lawyer or a barrister before? And you know how everything is itemized. Like every little, like, oh, yeah, oh, you know, he, he bought me coffee at that meeting. I appreciate it. Now he's charging me for the meeting kind of thing. <laughs> well, he didn't do that. It was all ethical. He was a Christian guy. It was like, yep. But I'm looking at that going, that, that charge? I didn't know, he, it was a phone call, it was like, you know, and he's just talking about the football, and, and it, oh, now he's charging me for that, and, and I'm like, I didn't know he was going to charge me for that, I didn't know he was going to charge me for this thing, and it's adding up, and suddenly I'm going, I'm a little worried now, I'm a little concerned, because at the first I'm like, yeah, it'll be alright, it'll be fine, it's, it's all good, and then I get this letter, and then right at the end, I get to the grand total, and I'm just like going, oh no, <laughs> Don't tell me, come on, no, seriously, this is, I mean, this is half price. And, and the grand total was eight and a half thousand dollars. And I can't remember the exact, like, how many cents it was, but it was like, it wasn't making any sense. I'm looking at it going, oh boy, uh, oh, I can't pay this thing. I'm like, I'm freaking out. Like, not only do I not get the eight and a half grand that I'm owed, now I have to, and I can't dispute this, because this is legally, I have to, and it's all legitimate. I've checked it out, I just didn't realize it was that bad. And I'm going, oh man. I have not got what it takes to pay this thing. I rang the, well, actually, before I say that, the strangest thing on this letter, on this invoice that I had, after it said $8,500, it had this funny word. And I want to show you this word. Um, it's called but say. Has anyone ever heard of this word? <laughs> it's like a little weird word. It's, um, I'm going to show you this because just so you get this idea in your mind. Because it was saying, and it said but say nil. And I'm like, what does that mean? It sounds like very Shakespearean, doesn't it? It's like, yes, but say nil and we'll talk in the morrow, yes? So I'm like, what is, but I'm, in my mind, I'm going, 
well, he's trying to say that's eight and a half grand, but let's just say nil. And, and that's actually what it means. That's what lawyers say. They can say, but say whatever they want. No, they can say, I'm 40, but say 25. <laughs> they, they can do that. They could, well, you know, not with their age, but on their invoice, they could say whatever they want. There's but say nil. And I'm like, I rang him up and I said, is that what you're saying? He's gone, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm thinking, why didn't he just say that in the first place? Why do you have to put me through all that pain? Why don't you just say, don't worry about it? And I'm going through all this stress here. And then you just get, <gasps> he said, are you fine with that? I said, oh, I'm more than fine with that. I said, <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Like, I, you know, I'll do a gig for it. He said, we'll just go out and we'll celebrate. And I went, I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Now, that happened about, like I said, over 15 years ago. And that was great, you know. And I was like, well, it kind of felt like justice was served in a strange way. But I didn't really think about that until about a you know, year ago or so. And I started thinking, you know, what would it be like if we got a letter in the mail from God to each of us, addressed to you, an account of your life. What would that be like? Now, you'd be thinking, well, you know, he's God, he's fair, he's reasonable, he'll look after me, right? It won't be that bad. You know, it'll be good, it'll be fine, you're expecting it, the day comes, that arrives. It doesn't fit in the mailbox, so actually it's a big, like, UPS delivery, you've got to open the box, depending on your age, you've got to sit down, maybe lie down, you're going to be reading this thing page after page, back and front, and you're going to be reading it for a long time. You're reading this letter and you're looking at it going, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's me. Yep. And suddenly you're like, whew. <laughs> no, come on. I, that, I, I thought about that. I didn't do it. And you start to realize that it's not just the things that you did, but it's the things you thought about. It's the things that were in your heart, the intentions of the heart. You're like going, oh, gosh. It's weighing down on me. You start to think, you're getting all sweaty and going, God, I didn't do anything. I just looked with lust. And you read the fine print, it says, if anyone looks with lust, it's, it's as adultery. You start to realize, I hated that guy in high school. I, I literally hated him. I never hit him. I never did anything. But you're seeing this as murder. And you know it's just. You can't excuse it. You can't say, well, that's not fair. It's fair. It's written there. You're freaking out. You're thinking, this is heavy, this letter. You know, I thought I was okay. I thought it was all right. You realize you'd lied more than you thought you had. You thought, oh, it was just a couple of white lies. You realize you're a liar. You've done all these things. You get to the end. You see the grand total and you're going, oh, no, oh God, please. No, <laughs> I, I can't pay this thing. It's not eight and a half grand. You realize that the grand total for this thing is way more. In fact, it says the consequences, or it's, it's strange terminology, it says the wages of your sin is death. You're like, I know I'm going to die, but you realize, you're looking at the fine print again, you're looking through this manual, it realizes that death is death in hell, and you realize you deserve this. I mean, you think, I wish it was eight and a half grand, I could go into debt, I, I, this is debt that I have, I can't pay. And you're freaking out, he's going, no, please, please, this, this is can't be and you realize underneath the strangest thing it says but say paid in full <laughs> what does that mean who is that what i think it means you consult god on this who wrote the letter you read through the manual you start to see you could never pay it and we've been hearing about this all weekend so far you know it. You could never do enough good to offset the bad. This is it piling up? It's mega high. You never thought you were such a bad person. You realize you have to pay this. It has to be paid. I paid it in full with my life's blood. Jesus did that for you. And you're like, oh, God, thank you. Is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do to serve you? And all we've got to do is repent and trust in Jesus. Jesus.